Hi, I'm Warren Sant from Infinera. And I'm Tim Massey from Light River. And we're here in Light River's Interoperability Lab in Concord, California. For those of you that don't know, our lab provides the ability to interop test between any optical transport device and packet networks from any vendor. PON networks are the technology of choice for last mile access networks, given their simplicity and cost effectiveness. However, while PON networks are well suited for residential services, the technology will soon have trouble keeping up with the ever increasing demand for capacity for next generation business services. We'd like to show you how remote areas in the United States can benefit from the latest technology innovations to boost the local economy and provide small and medium businesses with a new generation of broadband services. Speeds up to 40 times faster and reach up to 10 times farther than current pond-based solutions. This enables next-gen business services that can be extended to many remote areas that were underserved in the past. This is made possible through a combination of two key technologies working together. First is a new breed of intelligent, coherent pluggables, such as Infinera's ICE-X that leverages digital subcarrier technology, supporting both point-to-point -point and point-to-multipoint configurations with record-breaking optical performance. Infinera's ICE-X intelligent, coherent pluggables also stand out in the marketplace because of their ability to be used for single fiber bidirectional or single fiber working. This enables PON network operators to take a business driven approach to deploying ICE-X over their existing GPON, XGS-PON or NG-PON infrastructures without network or service disruption. At the same time, operators can activate new capacity quickly and remotely while significantly reducing CapEx and OpEx. Another key technology here is Light River's NetFlex software. NetFlex is our multi-vendor, multi-technology optical domain controller for transport networks. Our software provides real-time network inventory, alarming, and performance data directly from network devices and stores it in our standardized database. This database structure allows NetFlex to stitch different technologies together and visualize complete end-to-end -end services of all types. Our make-it-all-look-the-same mindset allows for easy interaction and understanding via the user interface, but also, more importantly, empowers automation through a suite of standard APIs that allow for simple integration to other external systems. Let's take a look at our point-to-multipoint demo, showcasing how high-speed business services can be delivered over an existing PON infrastructure. Let's start with the hub, where you can see an ICE-X 400 gig intelligent coherent pluggable hosted in the Juniper PTX 10001. There are two end sites, or LEAFs, connected to the hub. The hub is connected to LEAF1 with a 100 gigabit per second capacity over a single fiber working, also known as BIDI. At LEAF1, there is a network demarcation unit, or NDU, connected to a Nokia 7210 router. The NDU acts as an interface between the 100 gig coherent wavelength sent by the ICE-X and legacy routers like the 7210 that don't support the form factor or power envelope of coherent pluggables. This setup reflects how service providers can deliver coherent level capacity from 25 gig to 400 gig over an existing PON infrastructure and then fan out to existing routers. LEAF2 is connected to the hub over a fiber pair with an NDU aggregating traffic from a PON OLT. In this case, the Nokia 7360 FX4. This setup shows how ICE-X can efficiently and cost-effectively backhaul pond traffic to hub sites over a fiber pair or operate alongside existing pond wavelengths over a single fiber working. Here we see the optical spectrum with the downlink or hub transmit in red and the uplink or leaf transmit in green. We have the hub and both leafs operating in BIDI mode, where the uplink and downlink use different subcarriers so they can operate over single fiber working without the two directions interfering with each other. In the IPM management software, we can see the point to multipoint topology as well as each of the 100 gig services. Infinera partnered with Light River to include the ICE-X Intelligent Coherent Pluggables 
and the IPM interface into our Netflix optical domain controller. This provides inventory and visibility for the entire multi-vendor optical network plus the Infinera ICE-X environment. Netflix communicates directly to the routers, the switches, the rotums, the open line systems, and now our first OLT for access networks. So shown here is the Netflix network layout screen, which represents the point to multi-point network from the previous diagram. As you can see, Netflix brings the entire network together in one simple, easy to understand view. Netflix is communicating directly with the hub router where the ISEX pluggable is installed in 4x100G mode. At the same time, Netflix is utilizing the APIs to the IPM software, which provides the topology and other data points, including the ISEXs in the NDUs. And finally, Netflix is also communicating directly to LEAF1 and LEAF2 routers. In this example, the hub router can accept the ISEX pluggable directly and recognize the provisioned Ethernet subcarriers. The LEAF routers cannot accept the ISEX optics directly, so an NDU is used to terminate the signal with an ISEX and convert it to a 100G gray optic, which then feeds over to the LEAF router and the LEAF OLT. Netflix utilizes the IPM access to gather data from the various ISEX optics, and then Netflix will also automatically discover and build out the network topology, associate the host routers with the ISEX optics, and it will discover any new LEAFs that get built automatically once they are installed. If Netflix is not able to communicate with the LEAF router, the ISEX will still provide data via IPM, and Netflix will be able to show that endpoint. From here, the user can trace each LEAF router back to the hub or trace each subcarrier from the router at the hub router out to the LEAF endpoint. Notice that the trace shows every device active or passive in the path of the circuit. Troubleshooting the optical path is easy with our automated process called the Circuit Analysis Tool, or CAT. CAT will show the same graphical trace of the circuit, plus it'll gather real-time data from each active device in the path of the network things like alarms, PM, light levels, and other data. And then each one of those is pass-failed along the way. CAT is also available via the Netflix APIs, which provides results in a standard response format. The CAT API includes the various equipment in the path of the circuit with the same data captures and results, and also the pass-fail indicators. This allows for easy integration to any external system for automated circuit testing. Netflix will gather performance data on a daily basis also from every network element. This data is stored, analyzed, and trended over time to identify problems in the network proactively, including trending of all the optical light levels. Now let's take a look at the second part of the demo. This is a point-to-point -point optical transport application where we can see ICE-X 400 gig ZR Plus intelligent coherent pluggables hosted in Nokia 7250 routers at each end. Here is the physical hardware in Light River's lab. These are the two Nokia 7250 routers, and this is the Smart Optix open line system. It demonstrates how 400 gig coherent wavelengths can be carried over an open line system, enabling an IP over DWDM application. The distance between the two routers can be a few miles or over a thousand miles, depending on the application. For this application, the optical spectrum shows all 16 subcarriers being used for a 400 gig point-to-point -point link. And in IPM, we see the point-to-point -to -point topology and the 400 gig service. Again, Netflix will discover the ISEX intelligent coherent pluggable topology through IPM and combine that with the host router data. If an open line system is carrying the alien wavelength, it can easily be added to the signal path in the Netflix database via the UI or the API. This network utilizes the Smart Optics DCP-R9D Rotom open line system. This ISEX 400 gig alien wave can be traced just like any other service to Netflix, and it will include the routers and also the line system. The circuit analysis tool plays a big role here for automation, by gathering data points from the routers and also from the line systems and putting that together in the same easy to understand format, pass failing each data point along the way. As you can see from this demo, 
Existing pond networks can deliver much higher capacity using Infinera's ICE-X Intelligent Coherent Pluggables, along with Light River's NetFlex Optical Domain Controller. This allows pond network operators to take a business-driven approach to deliver high-speed services to remote areas while reducing CapEx and OpEx. Thank you for watching.